Hi everyone, welcome back. So as you can tell from the title of the video, this is part one of my animal tours. The tour of invertebrates, but mainly arachnids. I have too many animals to fit them all into one video. It would just be a really long video. I might put all the different parts together if somebody wants to watch like an hour long video later on. But also not everyone wants to see arachnids and invertebrates. But for those of you that are interested, this video is for you. We're also gonna be feeding them as we go along. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the scorpions. I don't have too many right now. As you guys know, I run a rescue. Typically spiders, scorpions, others around there aren't really animals that you see in a rescue aspect. The ones that I do have um, were either ones that I bought, or this one actually was given to me as a rescue. Here she is. Because she's ridiculously mean. Like, you cannot touch her. She's just an Asian forest, so it's not like a big deal um, if she was to sting you. But she's definitely not very nice. She's, she's already trying to attack the spray bottle as I'm just moistening her enclosure. There she is, eaten. Let's see if we'll give her one more. She'll hold on to it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There. See her holding on to it? She had babies once when I first got her. I got her pregnant. I don't know how they didn't know, but um, they didn't know. And here is my male. He's the same kind, same species. He typically hides right under here and he's a lot smaller. Um, as you can see, just a little guy. He's usually nicer. Um, he's been kind of a dick lately though. Oh, there he is. Let's feed this one. Get him. Yeah, it's foodies, buddy. Food. We got food. Yeah, you don't want it. Yeah. Food. For now, he holds it. Nope. It's food. Food. Yeah, there, see? I just running around with it. <laughs> He's upset. There we go. Now he's eating it. Love the way scorpions eat their food. Super cool. Alright, that's actually the only two scorpions that I have. Um, I might get more in the future, but again, uh, I mostly focus on rescues, and the only one that I bought was Reaper. I got him for $15, um, what, like a year and a half ago now? And uh, this other one was a rescue. Let's start in the order that I got my tarantulas. So, this is my curly hair. This was my very first tarantula. 
Very cool. She's the only one that I do handle. Even then, we are always really cautious when handling tarantulas because they are extremely fragile creatures. And I don't even actually suggest handling tarantulas. Um, that's why I do only handle the one, not to mention the rest are venomous and even more unpredictable because they are rather unpredictable animals. You always want to hold them pretty close to the ground. If you drop them, they can quite literally explode. They keep all of their really important organs all up in the back of here and just inside of them. And they don't bleed, so um, they don't like blood clot or anything. So if you were to drop them and they get injured, they just like... Well, they bleed out, I guess, but um, they don't have any, like, clotting system to heal. They, they just die. I actually used to be extremely terrified of uh, spiders, and I got Alistair here to help me um, cure my fear. And I realized how fragile and docile she was, and that's what cured my spider fear. And now I have a whole rack, so, but let's see. You want this? It's food. On it. She's kind of backing out of the cage. However, I will leave the cricket in here for her. Sweetheart, she just needs to get back in there. Because she typically eats them within like a day after I put them in there. So this is Banshee, my purple tree spider. She is still rather young. I got all my tarantulas not that long ago, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, she will grow up to be basically completely purple. I shouldn't open it up all the way, to be honest. I never do. It looks like she's hiding today. She's really fast, but she is a new world, so she's not super venomous. Just quick. Let's see if we can throw a cricket in and catch her eating. I want to assume she'll eat it later. She's uh, usually a pretty good eater, so. She's gorgeous, gorgeous tarantula. This <laughs> is a Socotra Island blue baboon. And this beautiful tarantula will grow up to be like white and blue. I feel a little bad because she works so hard on this web. And I'm gonna ruin it a little. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, but you're so beautiful and I want people to be able to see you. Can you kind of see her there? Like a little. She has grown so much. She's actually grown like crazy amounts. It's right there, do you see her? Um, I can't believe how much she's grown which says a lot because she's still itty bitty. This one is called Bane, that's her name. I love that one. I spent a good amount on that one, actually. I should feed this one. After that, I got my P. Metallica. This one will also go blue and white, but this one is more blue with like some white down its back, like a straight line. Um, this one is also pretty young and an old world as well. Um, yeah, you can just see her in the corner there. You can already see her going kind of blue, which is pretty cool. See the blue on her? Now she's in the water dish. I gotta fill that water dish, sweetheart. In it. And you'll move. Yeah. Ready? Give you some water. There you go. Yeah, there. God, she's so gorgeous. Okay, and this one was my last tarantula that I have gotten. This one is a big meanie. It is from the uh, bird eater um, species. There she is. She's only two, so she will still grow. Um, and I'm going to put my tongs in here with a cricket. Oh. And she will attack them. 
She's very pretty. This. What could be in this box that I absolutely do not want to escape? All right, let's open it. Uh, ooh, this is a giant centipede. And you must absolutely do not ever want to get bit by a giant centipede. I'm taking a little bit of a risk. You guys see him there? No. He's just chilling. He's a pretty friendly little dude. Yeah. Hmm. Want some food? He actually can eat like pinkies and stuff too. Okay. This is the last one I have to show you. This one is actually not mine. This is a bird eater that I bought for my roommate um, for her birthday. This one is really not nice. Yeah, as you can see, it's still just a baby. It's a salmon pink bird eater. Another species than mine. So that is all of the arachnids and inverts that I keep. Um, this does change every so often. Um, I get a lot of animals in and sell animals, but the arachnids and inverts tend to stay the same um, just because they are more pet-based than rescue-based. They're just kind of like personal interest. So um, likely this will be staying the same for a little while. So I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something. I'll see you next time.